lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim. Hello, this is Kadivas Robinson, and welcome to the Kadivas Robinson Challenge. This week I want to to, um, point out an important lesson in one of my favorite movies. In the movie The Matrix, there's a point in there that, that that's very telling. And in that part, there's a part in which Neo is getting ready to try something very miraculous. Neo's getting ready to do something that's astonishing. And there's other people watching. And during that process, um, Morpheus is looking at him, and someone asks Morpheus, they says, what is he doing? What is he about to do? And Morpheus states, he's starting to believe. So everyone's looking, and they're trying to figure out what he's going to do, and one guy turns around and asks the rest of the people. He says, uh, what if he makes it? What if he accomplishes it? And they say, ah, he won't. He won't accomplish it. No one makes it on the first try. Everyone fails the first time. There's no way he's going to. But what if he does? He won't. So they're watching, they're watching, and, and, and people are saying he's not going to make it. It's impossible in the whole nine. And then on the side is this young lady. And the young lady's going, come on, Neil, come on, you can do it. She's pulling for him. She really wants him to succeed. She really wants him to do well. She says, come on, Neil, come on, come on. She really wants him to do well. Those other guys are like, he's not going to make it. It's impossible. He's going to fail. No one makes it the first time. No one's ever accomplished this. She's, come on, come on, please, Neil, please. Let's do it. Let's make it. Let's make it. So Neil goes for it. He tries it. And he falls just a little short. And they go, oh, they all, like, I knew he wasn't going to make it. And then this one guy says, oh, that's not a big deal. No one makes it the first try. And so they keep going. There's an important lesson in that part. Because even though Neo tried and he didn't make it, he didn't give up. You know, because at the point they said when, uh, when he tried he didn't make it, one guy actually said, uh, so what does that mean? And they said, well, he's not the one. He's not the one. But it wasn't so important for for them to think that he was or he wasn't the one. It was more important for Neo to believe that he was or wasn't the one. You see, when he went to visit the Oracle, she did all these little tricks, and she looked in his mouth, and she said, ah, and she did all this little stuff. And then she said, you know, I just got to tell you, you got the gift, my friend, but, and she paused and got quiet. And she said, but what? And she was waiting to answer. She said, what do you think I'm going to say? He said, I'm not the one. She said, bingo. She said, you're waiting on some, maybe the next life or something. But remember, she never said he wasn't the one. She let him say it. She said, you got the gift, bud. And he said, I'm not. See, he at that point thought he wasn't the one. And not until he started believing that he was the one would he become the one. It's the same thing in our lives. It's like if we're not believing something, it don't matter who tells us we are or we aren't. We have to believe it ourselves. We have to put this. We have to understand that there are certain things that most people, maybe no one, succeeds on the first try. You know, that doesn't mean we can't succeed on the first try, but it, it also means that even if we don't succeed on the first try, it doesn't mean that we, we can't try again and, and, and accomplish it. And that's exactly what Neo did. But I also want to point out some. Even during that trial and tribulation when he was trying stuff and all those people were saying, he's not going to make it, he's not going to do it, this and that, he had somebody cheering for him. He had somebody in the background saying, let's go, Neo. You can do it. Come on, come on, come on. We all need that person. Who is that person in your life? Who is that person that no matter how bad things are going, no matter what struggles you're going through, no matter what challenges you're going through, who is that person that's cheering for you? Are they there with you? Are they a different city? Are they a different state? Is it your parent? Is it a friend? Who is that person that when everyone's cheering against you, rooting against you, that you're back up against the wall, who is that person that's cheering for you? I mean, I think of uh, Colin Kaepernick right now, and it's like he has a lot of people that, that's going against him because of uh, 
his own personal stance. Now, whether you agree with his stance or not is not the point I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is, you know, when you're going through something like that, you can't get a job even though you know you're good enough to get a job. No one won't pick you up. People talking bad about you. I mean, you got the president of the United States going against you. I mean, like, for Christ's sake, you have all these people against you. Who is the person he can look on and say, you know what, we're going to stick by this guy. We want him to succeed. I mean, who is the person that's going to stick by you and want you to succeed? And if you know who that person is, you know, it's a saying that says stay close to the fire. If you stay close to the fire, you'll stay hot, which is good. You want to stay warm. And so when you have somebody that's going to be truly want you to do well, you have to stay close to the fire. You have to stay close to them in some way, shape, or form, whether that's an email every once in a while, a text message, a phone call, or just hanging out with them, just to give you confidence, just to give you strength, you see? And so because what happens is if you don't, you just hang around those people that when, when, when you don't accomplish your goal as soon as you want to accomplish it, because remember, a delay is not a denial. A delay is not a denial. That just means you're going to succeed at a different time, you know, and you got to remember no matter how much you're going through, no matter how many times you go through, you have to participate in your own rescue. It ain't like you can, you can just have a, a delay and don't, and don't accomplish something and then just give up. No, you have to put in your own rescue. A lot of people want to be rescued, but they don't want to participate in their own rescue. You know, they're in the water, they're, they're stinking, they're about to drown, and somebody throws them a, a, a float, and they don't even want to grab the float. They want the person to jump in there and grab them and swim, swim to, the, to the shore. No, sometimes we have to uh, participate in our own rescue. And that means we have to meet these people that's cheering for us or supporting us. We've got to meet them at least halfway. And then we have to start believing, too. We have to understand that, as the book says, life and death is in the tongue. So when the oracle said, Neo, you have the gift, that was the point, right? So you have the gift. Okay, I have the gift. I have it. But she said, but, and she could have said anything after that. He said, I'm not the one. But later he realized something. He realized, hold on. I said I wasn't the one. That don't mean I wasn't the one. She never told me I wasn't. Matter of fact, I could be the one. And not only that, I got some people that truly believe in me. They have to see something in me to believe this. I mean, think about it. I would tell my athletes to borrow my belief in them to your belief kicks in. And that's what Neo needed to do. He needed to borrow the belief that that young lady had in him until his belief kicked in. And when his belief kicked in, he was able to accomplish it. So after he went through that second struggle and he failed and he thought it was over, and they were like, ah, oh, that's it. No one's ever come up from this. And he started coming up. That girl never lost belief in him. She said, okay. And when he got back up, he said, he is the one. You know, just like that. He is the one. And he got up and just acted as if he was the one from the beginning. And see, that's how it is with us. That's how it is in life. That's how it is for success. It's like you have this vision, you have this dream, you have this goal, and you know deep down inside. And you have all these people telling you you can't, but you have that one person that keeps telling you that you can't do it, you can't accomplish it, you have it. And if you don't quit, if you don't give up, if you don't let fear and disbelief jump in the way, if you just keep plugging away, keep believing, because remember, a delay is not a denial. That don't mean it's going to happen today. It don't mean it's going to happen tomorrow. It doesn't mean it's going to happen next month, next month, next year. But if you stay with it, then you will realize that you are the one. And why is that? Because God doesn't give you a, 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 a goal. God doesn't give you a dream that he doesn't give you the ability to accomplish that dream. That doesn't mean it's going to be accomplished in a quick moment. You know, who knows when it's going to be accomplished. And that doesn't mean that the dream's not going to be delivered to you in a certain way. I'll give you an example. There was a girl that was on Facebook. She was talking about when she was in the store, a guy came up to her and he asked her for money. And she essentially said, well, what do you need money for? He said, well, I need money to give you something to eat. I'm starving. And she said, well, you know, here's what I do. I'll go buy you the food. I'm not going to give you no money, but I'll go in there and I'll buy you some food so you can eat. So he said, okay, cool. So they're walking, they're going through the store to get something, buy some food and stuff. And he started talking to her. He started talking about God and, and how great God is and how and he started delivering this sermon. She's like, why is this guy, this guy who's out of money, who's struggling, asking me for money, why is he starting to tell me about God and life and motivation and inspiration and said, all this stuff? She just assumed he was saying it just because he was happy that she was going to buy him something to eat. And he, she was like, okay, come on, dude. So she bought him something to eat, and she noticed something. She was telling this story on, on Facebook. She said, you know, after I bought this guy something to eat, don't you know this guy didn't even say thank you? He just walked off happy. He didn't even say thank you. She said, I shouldn't even bought him to eat. What are y'all thinking? Everybody's on a girl. People ain't appreciative of their gifts and go. People ain't appreciative when you give them something. That's why I never help people like that. They never say thank you. This, is and that. This, is and that. This, and that. You shouldn't have done it. I'm not going to do it again and all that. And I wrote, I said, listen. He didn't say thank you, but when he was going through that whole process, when he got ready to walk off, you should have told him thank you. And she sent me a message back saying, what? Why not? Should I tell him thank you? I said, because the, the purpose of that meeting with you and him had nothing to do about the food you was buying. It had nothing to do with you giving him money or buying him food or the food he got or him saying thank you. The message 
was in what he was trying to tell you. See, God worked miracles through people. You know, angels are messengers of God. But the thing is, we think they're going to have wings and stuff. We think they're going to look all angelic or whatever you do with the word is. They're going to be looking all clean and beautiful with no, with no scars or nothing. So we're looking for those types of angels. But no, no angel can come in any form. And so he was coming there to give her that message, but he had to be able to get to her in a certain way. So he came like the way he came, and he was trying to give her that message because she was in a she was in a, a open giving position, which is a great position to be in. Because most of the time we're in a receiving position. She was in a giving position, and what he was trying to do, he was trying to give. You see. And so we needed to, to see that. We needed to see that sometimes the people that's churning for us, the people that's there for us, the people that's going to bring us the message we need to get are people that might not look the way we think they should look or act the way we think they should act or be the way we think they should be. But nevertheless, we have to have our third eye open to see these blessings that God has given to us. So in that movie, The Matrix, when he decided, okay, I am the one, and he had this, his, 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 that girl that was churning for him, he changed all of those people's minds. He changed all of those people's beliefs because he believed he stayed close to her and he kept at it. He understood a delay was not a denial. So right now in your life, what have you gone through? What situations have you been in in which you, you're you noticing that a delay is not a denial? What situations have you been in that you're starting to notice who your mentors are, who the people who are cheering for you, the people who are going to be, who is there for you no matter what goes on? Are you staying close to the fire, you know? Are you staying plugged away? Are you going to get up from being batted down because you actually are the one? Or are you the person that when somebody says it can't happen, you're, you're finishing their sentence on why something can't be accomplished? You know, my challenge for you today is to recognize who that person that gives you that home field advantage like, who is the person that you know that you can call and talk to? They're not going to always tell you the sweet, nice things that you want to hear, but you know they're pulling for you. You know that when you're going through something, they're saying, come on, come on. When everybody else is saying you can't do it, who is that person? Now, I want you to recognize that person. I want you to go to that person, and I want you to say thank you, you know, because you got to realize something. Sometimes when it seems like you're actually giving something to someone, in actuality, they're actually giving something to you. This has been Kadivas Robinson. This is the Kadivas Robinson Challenge. And once again, I holla. Shout out D on the track. Paint Music Media. Shout out DJ Lee Productions. And I'm Al Ken. But if you a game changer, got my yeah, head yeah. To the best, ain't nothing left to give it that Reverence that the Father gets So every day I work the sweat Can't get a flesh another rest They say go hard or go home I say just do whatever's best It's evident I'm blessed And I work like it Fight, fight like a Viking Fight, fight like a lichen The difference is I like it So I shine like I'm lightning So I'm going head to head With certain depth Who you like it? <laughs> yeah So it's time for Coach to put me in I'm strapping on my shoulder pads Lacing up my cleats and then I'm gone with the wind Like I'm gone in 60 seconds You can't hold me, you can't check me Check the memo, check the message Running through like, like, like I'm bad as I'm trucking Whoever standing in my way Ain't, ain't no way you gon' stop me You better off to let me in Cause I go hard even though they say no way that I could win Like I'm Brett Vaughn, I ride this game My head to the sky, sky. my grind don't hide
with trap to turn around, get back in it. Never it ain't that fucking same. It's that man did your butt they chain. Like I'm Jack Johnson, the same year he changed the same. So I sacrificed my life for the cause, just to win. And if you a game changer, let me see you my head. I'm a game changer. 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 I'm a